What is up guys, it is Sticky here and welcome to my impressions of Assassin's Creed Unity. Let's start off with the graphics and in my opinion the graphics are incredible. Uh, next gen open worlds, I always feel like um, games have been held back by uh, hardware even when the 360 came out. They were still been held back because it's it's just never gotten to the point where they could just uh, explode their minds with like different things they can do. Now they can. Uh, the facial animation is just incredible, the animations are so smooth. They're so... Like, I tweeted out... Um, saying that um my biggest problem with the previous games is that um you would uh, you <coughs> sorry if you were going from let's say you want to get from one one side of the building to another you would jump on one thing run for a little bit jump on another thing running for a little bit jump on one thing like or like you know back jump on a balcony go to a i don't know a park kind of connection to them and it's always been a very 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 individual process if you know what i mean metaphorically but now it's like you go from A to B, B to C, C to D, and it's just so smooth, like you jump from one to the other, and then you go down, you swing, and you go back up, and there's no, like, um, you have to get a haystack to get down, you have to, like, I watched this in the interview, I'm, re I'm actually going to call that from this blog now, but um, what it is is that, you, this, like, they've, I think they've nearly completely gotten rid of haystacks, it's more, you press um, R2 and X, and that's kind of like the parkour down, where you kind of jump up, and then you gra grab onto things, and then you kind of swings down, kind of like a Prince of Persia style. Which I think this is just absolutely incredible, and this is all thanks to next gen hardware. I love the new combat system in this game, how it's been completely redone, and it's not like you know, press square, 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 I win, or you know, that kind of way. You have to, um, you, you, you could attack and they could just block you. Everything you, you do could, could just be block, or if you can block them and counter and then they block that, I think it's a very, very cool way of system. Um, and I love the way that things kind of randomized, you know. Um, that it's pure chance that you could. It, it's down to player skill that you that you'll actually win the win the combat, and there's no waiting around for um, a counter kill anymore. It's it's um I think judging by what I've seen in the gameplay that the um, watching a combat demo that it actually gets harder as time goes on. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's just from that's my assumption from watching gameplay that um if you wait around they'll just do more damage and kind of guards will would kind of um, form a bit of a square or a circle around you to the point where you, can't, you just can't do anything about it and it's going to be really hard, the, the longer you drag it out the harder it is going to be able to get away from the combat system and I love I love the, the phantom blade, all oh, that thing is so beast, I'm like making that thing or I'm buying it, I don't care, I'm going to buy a replicate that, it, it better work. Um, I love the new sword, I love the pistol, I, lo I love, I think when he has one hidden blade which I really really asked for, which I which I did in fact uh, ask for, so um, I'm so excited for this game. I love the fact that there's like uh, three other assassins. I I love that whole co-op gameplay um, side to it. How they you kind of work together. And <laughs> after watching that um, the E3 cinematic trailer, oh I hope it's like that. How like um, you don't you don't actually yeah you work together to take down your target. Uh, that's what I actually asked for in um in a would this be cool video. I think that's just incredible, and I love the fact that um, you don't actually uh, kill your target. It's like here the people can deal with you. This isn't our thing. This is we're just helping. We're aiding the people, which I think is such a a, a thing, a, 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 such a storyline that's kind of been forgotten about in the Assassin's Creed series. Assassin's Creed one was so strong in this that you aid the people and uh, th they'd aid you kind of way that you save the citizens that would have a rippling effect that were back on you and that's what the that's what the the way that you work seem to work in this game and the co-op I, I love that I love the fact that you can upgrade your character I love the fact that uh, the skills are like a watchdog so you had the hacking combat driving and um, special I think it was uh, hacking uh, anyways there was like a four four different tiers for a skill tree and when you upgraded that your character your character evolved so much and it was actually so uh, useful and i think that's going to be the, the case for um assassin's creed unity that you 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 rank up your um assassin and you become this badass pe this badass fucker you know that you do not want to mess with i'm absolutely in love with paris and um, the city is so beautiful so detailed like um in this blog they said that it's going to be bigger than any other city you've ever seen in this game um, and I love the fact that you can go inside the building so seamlessly. There's like, um, with previous AC games, you would open the door, but then behind the door, it would, be, it would be pure black. Like, just, uh, there's nothing there. And it would kind of, like, load up, up in a way. But now he just kind of goes in with loads of people looking outside going, oh shit, somebody's been killed. So you walk in, and you're like, yeah, you know, I'll sort it out. So as you go off and you uh, kill the guy who did it, and vengeance has been done. Um, I love that. And I love the fact that the. That the city is the, the streets aren't just perfectly lined. There's um the seats kind of yeah excuse me the streets aren't perfectly lined. 
that there's kind of little uh, bump. The road is bumpy, and the it's the bricks aren't properly laid out on the ground. I think that's just incredible amount uh, t attention to detail. Um, I love the fact that the world has been uh, uh, built scale one to one, so that makes you feel like you're in the city. And I loved how the buildings are kind of tall, but not like um, I loved. Uh, they're tall. They're like AC two tall, which I think is just incredible. And I love the, just quickly to mention that I love the, the new choice of weapons. Wait, I already said that. I'm just really excited for this game. I'm not even thinking straight. Um, I love the fact that the, this detail on the wall, like in the palace, there's like grass on the wall, like ha how posh person would have this house in that time. But if you go into, um, if you go into like a different part of the, the city, it's just, the, the house is falling apart. And I even talked about this in a different video, how, how the, how it would be ghetto, that the place will have ghettos where rich, poor nobles rich people clergy how it's so different that um it would like with assassin's creed 2 there was no real difference brother was the main difference that you go from one area to another and it was the the church clergy all their rich people and all that but when you go to the other side the, the, the place is pretty much crumbling i love that feature it made such a good parkour element to um assassin's creed brother and i'm happy to see that returning in unity there has been a completely redesigned mission structure in Unity where you don't actually tailor a guy to find him out, which was just a bit, a little bit annoying. Uh, for I didn't mind it too much, but it was just it, it's something that's always been in the Creed games that's really starting to piss people off now, and it's finally gone that you um that the game is so open that uh, if you stop a guy from being killed at the guillotine, I talked about this before. I'm pretty on par this year. I'm pretty no, I'm pretty know it all this year. Um, sorry to boast, but um, if you if you stop a guy from being killed. Um, he will. He might give you information that might help a later mission. Or if you, um, you know, those Corys, you know, those guys that run around with letters. You know, it's pretty pointless having them in the game because all you got was like a couple, couple of hundred um, pounds or whatever the fuck you want to call it, and they, they were pretty useless. But now they actually have a proper use for. They might have a letter that might actually help you out. And the game doesn't tell you to follow this guy. It tells you where he's going to be at and how you can do it. And I think that's just incredible. Um, or it doesn't tell you how you can do it, but it just tells you he's going to be there. And there's multiple ways of actually get uh, getting in to kill, his, to kill your target. And um, this, it's just incredible. I cannot wait for this game. Um, a couple more things I want to talk about as well after this. We do know that the present day, but anyways, just wanted to get that in there. That I love the fact that the stealth is um, you can crouch whenever you want to. And uh, we've seen that in the co-op gameplay that there's a cover system so that you can crouch whenever you want to. I think that's absolutely incredible. Um, so as soon as you go in there, as soon as you go into a restricted area, he won't crouch. He won't auto crouch like um, like he does in Watch Dogs. I was even happy if we got an auto crouch type thing, but no, he actually he presses a button and he gets down on his knees and he kind of goes between cover. And um, I love the fact that uh, you can't be detected easy as easily when you're in kind of crouch system because everything's kind of he crouches down to a point where you wouldn't see him, but it's not like he's impossible to see. And and they said that um, guards react differently, like to the way that you um had they had the like if let's say they spot you, they they act differently. And then um, just a quote from this: "This says stealth gets a, a full makeover. This indicates a new stealth stance, which means you crouch from the bottom, which changes how Arno moves to and alters." how he sees the world. In fact, stealth is once again at the centre of the experience. Thanks to radical changes in gameplay, after all, as Armonico says, Assassin's Creed is the first and foremost social stealth game. You're an assassin, you shouldn't be ramble. Which um, is really, really true because um, like, you shouldn't be going around fucking murdering up people like you did in AC3. Um, so anyways, like I said, you um, you kind of crouch and it's, you, there's like a cover system in the game. I thought was that, that was brilliant in Watch Dogs. Um, what I also really like is that um, judging from the the single player demo, when he goes in and he uses the eagle pulse, I like that how he doesn't, he just, he just doesn't have it. He has to build it up. But what I love about it is that he um, the, the the mission has been designed that there's multiple ways to do it, like like there has been in AC4 in the previous games. But they um they make the they make the harder version the like the, yeah excuse me the hardest version of the of the way of extelting like, through and completing the mission is the hardest way. So um. If you if you um, see, uh, like what he can do is that he um, he goes through all the guards and has to go around them, go up the stairs where he can easily be spotted. Just even if his foot got spotted, that's it done. Um, he will be done. But if he if he if you kind of scope out the area and analyze it, you'll notice that um, 
way the way he actually got out was another way of going in down the ladder and i think that's so cool because the guards have no idea you're there and it just kind of shows that um there's the easier ways of doing of completing the mission will be um the un it will be the ways you have to look for kind of can hit man which i thought was brilliant so um i just think the combat is incredible and i love that phantom blade like i said before so i think that's about it that's all i, want, I really want to talk about um arno he looks really really he looks like a really cool character and we do know is that um he does start off in first sight they did say that so maybe that's the second city and um i think that it's, it's just gonna be an incredible game so far it's about a 10 out of 10 for me i haven't played it and i know this is just a hype talking but uh woo unity uh come on i need, I need that shit tomorrow i want it now so I will see you all later and goodbye.